Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share five things that I discovered that I needed in my wardrobe. After doing a major declutter of every section of my wardrobe. So if you're interested in knowing what those five things are, just keep watching. So if you have watched the past couple of videos, you probably know that I cleared out my blazers that I wasn't wearing, some that didn't fit. This one in particular needs alterations. So I went through the entire process of just looking to see what I had and didn't have. Now, the first thing that I discovered that I didn't have in my wardrobe that I really would like to integrate, not reintegrate because I really didn't have one to begin with, but to integrate into my wardrobe is an oversized blazer. And the reason that I want to do that is all of my blazers are pretty fitted. They are business fitted, so they are very close to my body. So they're very fitted in the body and the shoulders and very structured. And I have one blazer and I wouldn't mind getting it in a black color because it is an oversized blazer, but it's pink. And so I really want a universal color in my wardrobe. So here is my pink Fit American jacket. And as you can see, it kind of has that very silky, shiny look. The length is perfect. I like it. The lining is also very nice. Again, as I mentioned, I wouldn't mind, this is hefty. I wouldn't mind getting this jacket in black. Do you see how the inside is very nice? The jacket itself is just well made. I like that. It fits me well. And this color is so beautiful. Like it is a pretty, pretty color. It is a little long for me in terms of the sleeves, but I don't even mind that either. It has the three buttons here. Really, really pretty blazer. And I'll put in a picture of me wearing it, but it's a nice blazer that I wouldn't mind having it in black. But again, as I mentioned, I really would like to have something because to me, I have these paired with the shorts and to me, it's a very casual blazer, but I don't know. I guess it just depends on what you're kind of looking for. I'm looking for something more business like but this one is really really nice i haven't undid that back part <laughs> always forget to do that but yeah it's really really pretty kind of not what i'm looking for but this is the only oversized blazer that i have and i love the oversizedness of this one i think just if i had it in black it would be a little bit more versatile for me so I definitely would want a black blazer. I wouldn't mind getting that blazer in black. That's the good American blazer. And I'll show it to you here. I wouldn't mind getting that one in black. That one is at a good price point. I really like the blazer that I have now, the pink one. It's very beautifully designed inside and it's well made. And so I wouldn't mind getting that one in particular in black. Now, right now, a lot of sales are going on. All of the stores are getting rid of their winter inventory. And I found this one in particular, I believe at Saks. And I really do like it a lot. It looks like it's a good quality. And I base that on the materials, like it's made out of wool. It looks very elegant and beautiful. The Good American Blazer is beautiful, but it kind of has like a sheen to it. And to me, it's more casual. It's not really business. It's not really a true oversized business jacket. And that's really what I'm looking for is a good quality blazer that is made well. And currently, because of all the sales, I really feel like I could get a good blazer at a good price point. I really feel like it's a good one to get. It is in a bigger size than I would like, 
And if it's already oversized, I just worry that it might be too big for me. Now, the other thing with having these items be on final clearance is that you can't return them. Most of the time, they're final sell and you can't return them and you're kind of stuck with them. So it's from a brand that I'm not really familiar with. I think that I could get it altered if I needed to, but obviously this one is still sitting here, so I'm not really good at taking stuff to get altered or, or know someone who knows how to do that. I'm okay with getting the one from Good American, but I really would like to get one that is warm, good quality material, and a good price point. So the second thing that I noticed that I don't have in my wardrobe is just a white, long, collared blouse. And I saw one on Chico's and I'll put it here. I love that it is so long that I could wear it over a tank top also on sale right now. And I just think that it's a staple in anybody's closet. Now, I have two white blouses and I'll show them to you. But one is a see-through blouse that you have to wear a tank top under or a bodysuit. The other one is fitted. So these are the two white tops that I have. They're not really long. This one is a Jones New York. I believe I got it at Ross and it's very fitted. I want something a little bit more boxy to be honest. This one actually I just noticed has a stain on it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to try to see if I can get that out. But yeah just a very fitted shirt and then this is the other white one that I have that's very it's just a sheer blouse and this was in I think last season during the summer a lot of people were wearing these type of blouses with a tank top underneath I actually found this one at Ross and it's not the best quality but it fit what I wanted it to and I wasn't really worried about getting something expensive not for this this was just casual wear so I wasn't really worried about anything like that. But that blouse at Chico's is definitely what I'm looking for. I feel like it'll give me the length that I'm looking for without it being so fitted like this one. I mean, this is a very business shirt. And I want something a little bit more versatile that I could wear maybe with a shorter dress as a just a little top. I have... The yellow one that I bought from Nordstrom, I wouldn't mind getting that one in white because that one is really pretty. I might size up in that one because it's already oversized. Like I shared it in my last video when I was trying out shirts that I was going to donate. But I like that blouse a lot. It's on the higher price point. I'm going to look into it actually and I'll put it here if they have a white one but that brand is so nice and i like that shirt a lot and if the stain doesn't come out of this one i'm probably just gonna have to let this one go which kind of accelerates my needing just a plain white shirt <laughs> while we're on the subject of blouses i don't have a blouse that's denim I think I had one a while back and it just fit me a little snug and I donated it and now I just don't have one. Now I have blue blouses but I don't have one that's made out of denim. I did see one on the Veronica Beard website which right now they have 70% 70 70 off all of their items and it was in my cart but it sold out right away but it is the blouse that I want and I'm really hoping that they're going to bring it back next season but I'm just going to have to see like there's another one from I believe it's Rails I'm not sure 
they have a nice denim blouse that I'm kind of interested in, but I don't want a denim shirt that looks like a jacket. That is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something a little fitted in the shoulder area, a little loose in the body, a little longer, a little dark denim is what I'm looking for. And so I found this one at Neiman Marcus that I really like. So I don't know if I should hold out for the Veronica Beard one and see if it comes back next season or if I should just settle for something else. But I really do like the one from Veronica Beard and I'm not in a hurry to integrate any of this stuff into my wardrobe. I'm really not. I think just right now they're having sales and I'm looking and I'm like, wow, this would be perfect right now, especially the higher price point items that I'm finding on sale. I kind of want to integrate now, but it's okay. Like I said, it, it's nothing is like urgent, but it's definitely a piece that I'm missing in my wardrobe. So the other blouse that I would want to integrate into my wardrobe that I do not have is a silk blouse. Now I saw a silk blouse when Nordstrom was having their anniversary sale. And it sold out really fast. I think it was the one from Rails. I can't remember 100% silk. It sold out right away. I want a 100% silk blouse in my wardrobe. Purple is my favorite color. I found this one on this site. I've never heard of the brand. I've never shopped them or anything like that. But as you can see, a silk blouse is going to cost in the $200 range. Again, I'm not in a hurry to buy anything, but when I am ready, you can sign up for emails and they'll give you 20% off your purchase, which I think is amazing because that would be $40 off, which brings it down to under 200. So that's the other blouse that I'm wanting to integrate. I really feel like a silk blouse is a, it's a basic item in a capsule wardrobe that everyone should have. Black blazer, white blouse, silk blouse, denim shirt. And then the last thing that I want to integrate into my wardrobe is actually a black booty. Now I had black booties from Mark Fisher. I think I had bought them at Ross a long time ago. And every time I wore them, they killed my feet. Like they were very business-like, which I liked but they just hurt my feet so much. The only black boot that I have in my collection, let me go ahead and show you guys since we're here in the boot room. <laughs> so as far as a casual boot, I do have this one. These hurt my feet because of the arch in them, but I do wear them occasionally. But as you can see, they kind of have like the lasered cutout in them. These are from Vince Camuto. I do like them, but not the business booty that I was looking for. Now, if we come over here, I have these boots here. Let's start with these. These, again, are a very casual boot. I believe these are Sam Edelman. Yes, Sam Edelman. Not something that you can wear. They're not universal that you can wear in the summer and the winter. They're just kind of a suede looking boot and they're meant more for, I feel like, the winter. And these are very comfortable. I call them my ugly boots because I kind of feel like they kind of swoop and I don't know, they're not very attractive to me. <laughs> so here are the boots that I was telling you all about. These are the Mark Fisher boots. They kind of have this little gold on the edge, but these boots kill my feet. They have no support. I bought these at Ross and I've just had them because it's the only plain kind of booty that I have. It does have this gold on there, but they're the only boots that I have that are kind of business attire. I also have these booties that kind of have that bead on the end. These are more of a sock black booty. These are from BCBG. And 
I don't wear these very often. I don't like the beading on them now so much. I mean, it looks kind of cheap to me now. In hindsight, it didn't before. Probably, I would think I could remove it if I wanted to. But they're nice. They're just not... Bit, like, I can't see myself walking into a business meeting wearing these. These are very label-ish. They're Michael Kors. Beautiful. They're a sock booty with kind of like a different texture in the front. I believe these are leather and they're Michael Kors. And I adore these, but I don't like to wear anything designer or flashy to work. I just don't. I rather wear just something basic like this, even those. I'll tell you what, someone made a comment and they were like, wow, those are really nice boots because it had the more, when I first bought them, they had the more profound gold around the front of it. And I don't know, I guess they just thought it was an expensive boot, but <laughs> those are not expensive. But I don't want to wear anything flashy, but I do want a good boot. None of these are leather. I want a leather booty that's solid black and so I'm going to put in a picture of the one that I found that I want and you guessed it the Veronica beard as well and I just like that brand they are 100% leather and right now they are half price and so they retail, I believe, for $4.98, and they're on sale for $1.98, I think. Is that right? I don't know. They're like $300 off. I've heard a lot of good reviews about that boot. Now, I looked at Nordstrom, and Nordstrom still has them for $495. They have not gone on sale at the Nordstrom website, nor at Neiman Marcus, nor at Saks. They have not put this boot on sale but Veronica Beard, like I said, is having the 70% off sale. And they have them at a manageable price point, I would say. So that booty has been on my wish list for I cannot tell you how long. It's been on my wish list ever since it, it came out. And I just feel like it's the one that I want. I really haven't looked for any other booty like that because that's the one that I want to integrate into my wardrobe. And so those are the five items that I'm looking to integrate back into my wardrobe. I'm really happy that I was able to go through everything that I have and really made some hard decisions to get rid of some stuff, but it really made me see what I need in my wardrobe. And it's not a lot of the same things that I had. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.